Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Nimpulse Plays where we are once again back with some 10 dates but this time we will put aside Ryan for he has achieved his date. This time we're going to play Misha. That's us. What's up fellow daters? First you need to be found. Misha, 27, 5 foot 2 from London. Okay, what profile picture represents me the best? So we've got kind of a cheeky, but you know, well lit, well lit photo. Casual selfie. Uh, kind of nice, sweet Facebook photo, LinkedIn photo. Uh, taken by somebody else, candid photo, but well received, you know, up for a joke, up for a laugh. I think, I think this works. I think candid photos are sometimes better in this regard. All right, uh, we'll stick with the same answers we would normally give. So we're creative, into arts and culture, technology, and sports and fitness. And we're a Gemini. I wish you got rid of the mouse cut. Ah. Did Ryan sign us up for it? Or are we still calling Ryan? Ah, oh, and there was me having a good day. Well, it's just become great. You're welcome. What's happening? Uh, I just got back from work an hour ago. Same. I've made myself some food. Same. And I've just got off the phone. Okay, I think it's the My same God. scene. I joined a dating app. Have you? Well... Okay, so I think we can actually Why skip everything that's not normal. I'm it and like... Do you want to have a drink before? Could you just say less? Okay, we're all good. If you're wondering what this conversation was, watch the first two episodes. Bye. Bye. I'm guessing this is the reggaeton music they were referring to in the previous episode. Okay, can we tap this? Yes, no. But what if there is no vibe? What do you do then? If you're online, you can log off, you can make it an excuse, you can just be gone. My internet connection is crap. Mm. What do you do here? Welcome everyone to Speed Dating. My name's Derek. I'm your host. What up, Derek? We're going to be beginning very shortly. So, gentlemen, if you could make your way to your table numbers. You are so cynical. This is where you're going to find that genuine connection you keep banging on about. Why are you <laughs> smiling at me like that? <gasps> Nick! Why are you smiling at me like that? No, I'm not smiling. You're like everything. Misha? There is a Misha? small possibility I might have signed us both up. I'm not doing it. You are! Well, it's no, it's too not. bad, right? And you already did it. Well, I'll just leave. Oh, come on. No. Look, at least it's going to be a good story. It is not going to be a good story. I'm just going to get humiliated. You've been preparing for this. I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's a great story. Oh, he's browsing. He's browsing. A part of me wonders why they didn't do, like, a separate prologue for oh, Misha. Sorry, what? <clears throat> Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> okay, so the women stay at the table, the men, you, rotate around them. I'm a man now. So you go to different tables and you speak to girls. What do I say? Whatever you like, but you have five minutes, okay? Mm, okay. And halfway through the date, that dude over there will give us a warning. And then he'll also tell us when there's a woman that left to wrap it up. So essentially, you've got to use your time wisely, which I know you're not good at. No, hence why I don't want to do it. Exactly. Uh, we're going to start with the gentleman by your first allotted table numbers, and good luck. Have fun. <laughs> um, you're sitting in my first date seat, so I need you to jump Okay. On. Here we go. go. We're about to find out. Cheers. And from here, it's the Misha playthrough. Ice. Glasses. Beer. Wine. Man. Brandy. I'm pretty sure that was brandy. Lucas, head in the cloud. Oh, hey. Can I? Yeah, of course. Thank you. <sighs> Have you been waiting long? No, I've been waiting my whole life for this. Oh. <laughs> Not really, but yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, my, um... I've only just finished work, you see. So it takes me a minute to recalibrate. I get that. Okay. Um, 
I am a freelance computer engineer. Well. Okay, yeah. And because of that, my work hours are just all over the place. I like to mess around with coding in my free time, try and fix problems. Really? Yeah. Do you know about Raspberry Pi? Oh, I do, I've yeah. I've heard of it, but I don't know much about it. Okay, so it's a small computer that you can program for like simple projects. For yeah. example, I built myself a dashboard for my bicycle. So it shows me my time, my speed, you know, my location, you know, on the routes. So a phone without a phone. But more fun. I don't know. It makes me feel like uh, yeah, a that's cool. great creator. God. Steve Jobs. <laughs> well. So, Lucas, what's your living situation? Do you have any flatmates? I actually live on my own, which, yep. to be honest, I love. Antisocial, though. I don't know if you found this, but as you get older, there's just harder and smaller avenues of making friends because everyone's already found their click, you know? So I, suppose I don't know if that's true. So amazing for that. If you don't mind me asking, how do you afford to live on your own? Something I was working on just did well, so. And I decided, yeah, I'm going to get myself a place. I deserve it. And the rest is history. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> what about you? Do you prefer to live on your own or with people? Well, I've tried both. I worked away for a bit and they put me up. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that's a really good way of experiencing being on your own, I suppose. I'd say I'd be really scared of living alone generally, I unless I'm in a relationship with somebody I'm staying with. I want. No, not the first thing yeah. I was going to suggest, uh, but okay. <clears throat> I think for me, um, sometimes it can get quite lonely, um, especially if I don't like make plans much. You should make some more plans then. I'm here now, aren't I? There you go, yeah. You know, I've been looking forward to this all week, and I'm glad I'm here. I get that. The last couple of years have been tough, but I'm grateful that we went through it when we had video calling. Exactly, I mean, and that wouldn't have been possible without technology. It's taking over the world. So are you aware of the synchronicity then? That's when uh, AI will... Oh, OK, we're getting into people. this. Derek, I feel like we're at the three minute mark. If you could say yes or no to that happening, what would you say? The singularity where AI takes over the world? I mean, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be high on a list of what AI wants to keep. I think AI is going to be looking for a cost efficient kind of approach. I also don't see it happening in our lifetime. I, I, I enjoy technology, but I also don't don't think technology is going to be particularly a good leader. You know what I mean? No. It's a bit close-minded. Well, just because I disagree with you. you oh, know, oh, 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 boy. Oh, there's boy. No room for development, if you say that. Well, why does everything have to be open to the possibility of change? Because everything is in constant change all the time. For example, we used to believe the Earth was flat. Now we believe it's a globe. We used to believe in angels and demons. Now we believe in quantum physics, ones and zeros, and so. I will believe in angels and demons. Yeah, but the point okay, is. The okay, I'm not an AI skeptic. When we're faced with change, we become. I'm just saying it's a little bit dangerous. Right, we still haven't solved the this trolley is short problem. Way warning, guys. That is three minutes to go. 180 seconds. Couldn't tell you how many milliseconds. Derek's given up. You're wearing a watch, yet you still checked your phone. You're right. Um. Hands up, I must be a phone addict, and a laptop addict, and a tablet junkie, so... Oh, yeah. the full set. Mm -hmm. You wondering about me? Yeah. I feel like everyone should be asked this on a first date. Why? So, uh, how distracted someone's going to be when you're trying to... I'm, I'm not necessarily a tech, no, a tech not addict. My phone. So you're trying to tell me you've not checked your phone once during the speed day? Nope. Have you checked yours much? Uh, Every day, yeah. Lucas. That rude? Five minutes. Just gotta go five minutes without looking at your phone. Well, was, uh, yeah, maybe you're right. What about what? Can I watch? No. I mean, this is the thing about technology. We are surrounded by it constantly, interacting with it every single second, and it goes far beyond just phones. Oh yeah, I mean, GPS, search engines. My God, I'd be useless without all of that. And take contactless payments, for example. That has completely revolutionised the whole social economics of how we buy things. For example, back a day, you would have to pull out your wallet, get some coins out, and pass it to the cashier, whereas I can now just go, boop, and it's paid for like that. So oh I'd say boy. these things here are I, definitely- I'm gonna be honest. I think we need to move off technology as a subject. I'm glad we're both interested in it, but but we have been talking about it for what feels like two hours. 
We're on the clock, so maybe we should talk about something that isn't technology. Oh, yeah? Sorry, um... What, like? Oh, tell me about your friends. Friends? Uh, well... Uh, well, I'm, I met all my friends online, and they're all from different okay. parts of the world. Hobbies? Just cleaning my workstation cut as a hobby. One minute to go, guys. One this is minute. this is not going well. And then we have to wrap it up. Moving on. This has been an interesting date. Oh no, I, I haven't offended you in anything I've been talking about. No, no not at all. I, and just, I hope I've offended you. Just a just a little just boring. I mean, not for much longer. Just very much <laughs> terminally online. Okay, I read somewhere that extroverts deal with these kind of situations a lot better than introverts. So, I, I think clues in the name. Extrovert or introvert? Mm, good question. And you're not allowed to say both. Come on. I, I, I personally like, am an introvert. I don't feel I'm as introverted as this guy. I'm definitely an introvert. Just the idea of someone you sitting there and me having to talk to them makes a tiny bead of sweat drip down my armpit. Oh my gosh, same. Like, this top under here is going in the bin when I get home. Mm, I wondered what that smell was. Oh boy. R really? No. Of course not, I'm joking. Oh, oh man, I am so bad at reading when people are making a joke or being serious. I, I really can't tell. I'm probably not the best match, are we? <laughs> Seriously, it's probably not a good sign, is it? And your time oh, oh, boy. is up for that Oh day. boy. It's date is awaiting. Right, well, um, thanks for the date. It was a good way for us to test out our options. It's nice to meet you, Lucas. I don't think that went well. I... I think overall we did try to just get out of the technology junction every now and then, but... Ty, in the fast lane. Are they into... Big cars and stuff. Oh, motorbikes. You good? Yeah, I'm Misha. I'm Ty. You're not drinking? No. no bikes and alcohol don't go together. True. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, <laughs> sorry, it's a pandemic hangover. You're an elbow bumper. I think this is the first time I've been around so many people again. I'm still getting used to the whole handshake thing. Maybe you're used to skin on skin contact again soon. What's important is that That's we're a weird, together. Weird, weird thing to say. Kind of. Well, you don't want to be out with me. Well, we're both at this speed dating event, coincidentally, together. Oh, so you're arguing with me. Would that be a problem if I was? Not at all. Bring it on. Are you, are you looking for a fight? So, how do you spend your days, Ty? This and that. Oh, great. That's a great conversation starter. All right, well, uh, I'm going to leave it if you're going to leave it. So, did you get up to much this weekend? It's been a pretty rough week, so just blowing off some steam. Hmm, cryptic. Care to elaborate? I'm sure we can find some more interesting things to talk about. All right, they don't want to talk about that. Have you contributed to the conversation? Wow. I'm doing all the legwork here. You sound like my mum. Is that a good thing? No. No. How did you find out about this event? These I dates are awful. Fire in the post. An actual paper flyer. Can you believe that? I can. Yeah, they still... I found out through an email. Something else we have in common. Both check our mail. Soulmates. Oh. I... I hate Ty. Way warning, guys. Three minutes to go. I know, it flies, doesn't it? So, what brought you speed dating? I tend to run in the same circles. Gets a bit old. Hmm. So you've exhausted your circle of options. What do you think I am? But yeah, kind of. What do you think I am? I'm not sure. I'm still deciding. Would uh -huh. you say you're open-minded? Well, yeah, I'm, relatively. You can't just answer the question. Oh, All right, stop arguing with me. Prove it. I would say I am. Cool. Now, are you going to tell me why you asked me that? I like to know where I stand with people. This world's always changing, and it's important for us to stay open. Mate, you're so standoffish. <laughs> Are we grown? Getting there. Trying. Just don't like labels. If I want to do something that's out of excitement or curiosity, then so be it. Whether that's in my social life, my work life, my sex life. 
Ajá. Uh -huh. I'm one of those people who wants to try everything once. Variety is the spice of life. Okay, so when I tried to go in with you on the conversation topics you wanted, that was fine. But like when when we wanted to talk about me, you're like, well, you know, who cares what you think? Let's be honest. I I hate you. I don't think this is appropriate first date chat. What? You know what? Hey, hey, hey. I I could have been talking about the food. You said my sex life. You're gonna have to work a little harder to have those culinary chats with me. Challenge accepted. Oh, sorry. Did you just didn't even? Oh God. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's no, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm free that day. I hate this yeah, guy. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Why would I be nervous? I better stop smiling. Mate, we're on a date. You can't wait to get me on my back. Ty, that is disgusting. Put it away. Oh my God. He's crazy. That was my dentist. Who speaks to that dentist like that? She's a mate. She was sorting out some discount teeth whitening for me. Well, in that case, you'd be grateful I taught you some manners. Yes, ma'am. No. No, no, no. Go, guys. Just 60 seconds. Better make it count. You seem very high fashion. I like nice materials on my skin. So my Who responds like that way? Extremely soft material. Mm, Don't tell me nice. that. Do you want to know where they're from? No. That wasn't part of the deal. We never made a deal. That's sure. Out. Running out of time. Which supermarket? I'm not going to tell you. We're not allowed to tell you. It would. We'd have to pay them money. I also didn't really realize that's what I was talking about. I thought it was just meant like the general fashion where that came from. Oh, saved by the bell. This time. I want to see you again. No. What's your handle? Uh, no. Give me yours. Games, games. Mm, I just gotta lay out all my suitors. Lay it's out, not wait up. It's Thai 25. Oh, jackpot. It's been fun. No. Very. Be gone, Ty. Be gone. All right, who's next? It's Jake, who is, I'm guessing, a teacher because class is in session. Hey. Hey. What up, Jake? I'm a hugger. Should, should we hug? Okay, so am I. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, a hug's a bit of a weird one to start, but all right, yeah, fair. I'm uh, Jake. Misha, uh, I think I might have crinkled your shirt a bit, but. Uh... Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think you did. I've. Um... Okay, so quick story. My uh, my grandmother buys me a birthday gift every year, and she likes to get me a shirt. And this is a vintage 2013. Oh, no way! Yeah, I'm a teacher and clearly too busy to buy my own clothes. <laughs> okay, has has there an anecdote? Fair enough. Birthday traditions. Oh, I don't know if I can compete with that shirt. Um. Martini knows our drip. Hey, she's occasionally a, she's got good taste. <laughs> I actually do have a tradition. Probably not the Misha's my tradition, but. Always buys me a jumper on my birthday. I do love a jumper. Mm, but he's colorblind, so... But instead of seeing the colors differently, he sees them all the same. Mm. It's called, um... Tritonomaly. Tritonomaly. <laughs> <laughs> this speed dating business is such, like, an interesting format. Yeah, I think so. I, um... I actually don't get out too often. School's quite full on, so... Summer holidays, though. Exactly. Mm. You would think, you but, uh... before? That's a verb? Oh, you're gonna... I did. I, I played the uh, Five Dates I game. Do that too. Of course not. I have actually speed dated before. I mean, it was a long time ago, though. How long? A couple of years, maybe? Oh, it was last week. Yeah, I, I don't speed date all too often. Uh, in fact, I don't think I have. Mm. I, I mainly just get set up through friends and, and things like that. How's that been? Uh, a bit awkward when you bump into each other at, like, social gatherings and events, and uh, if you didn't hit it off, it can get a bit... I yeah. can't imagine there's many people you don't hit it off with. Ah. That's very kind. That's very kind. Yeah. You. Now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> what is most important to you in a relationship? <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you added that last part. Otherwise, we're going to go ready for politics yeah. just yet. Three you know, minutes. Conan the Barbarian. Three minutes. Well, maybe I'd be so bold to say I'm looking for love. Ah. What about you? Okay. 
Was that too much? No, I mean, it's honest. Looks, brains, don't know okay, yet. So Good to know. Um, I don't know. I'm not really focused on looks, and don't know yet makes it sound like it's between those two. Of them, I'd go brains. It's really just, can you talk to somebody and get along with them without it being stopped, st without it being tie? I want good conversation. Yeah, not, not super intellectual, just somebody that gets what I want about. Simulating conversation from someone you're spending time with. Hmm. Yes, there you go. Now as for the challenge part, so I gave the kids a pop quiz today. That's it. Did you do this with all the ladies? Oh, is it that obvious? Yeah. I am, in fact, a massive <laughs> trivia fiend. I will accept this challenge. Sure, if we have enough time. Enough for a quick fire, true or false round? Mm hmm, okay. Okay, great. Um, question one There is no word in the English language that rhymes with orange. Orange. I mean, does door, door hinge, is, if you hyphenate it, I'm going to say false. false. Because I don't think door hinge false. is a word. Incorrect. Oh. Door hinge? Orange is unrhymable. Oh. All right, second question. Oh, wait, I understand. I, I slept the wrong Aruba answer. It's part of Portugal. Aruba, Portugal. Caribbean? Uh, I would have thought it was owned... Hmm. Aruba, Portugal. I don't think so. I, I, I think it's independent. False. The island belongs to the Netherlands. Correct. Right? Hey, oh, okay, fair enough. Wrong, wrong, wrong empire. In the human foot. Fourteen. How far up are we going? We took an ankle as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I think it's. I think there's more. False. There's definitely more than that. Yeah. Hmm? How many do you reckon? Twenty. Okay, well, you are right. It is false. Yes. There are 28 bones in each foot. Oh, there you go. Close. Not close enough. Okay, two out of three. It's very good. Mm, it feels a bit mid to me. It's above average, though. That's true. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> you should. <laughs> One minute to go. One minute warning. Thank you, Derek. So what else do you do with yourself, Jake, besides date randoms? <laughs> I, um, I like to read a lot. It's, okay. Uh, yeah, it's one of my favourite hobbies. Air quotes, nice. <laughs> I picked up a book in my time. Favourite genre? Oh, finishing with a toughie. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, together. Of these, I guess I have probably read more young adult books than I have the the other two categories. I think if I had to pick, I would choose young adult fiction. Yeah. yeah. That's something I'm actually quite clued up on. Oh, the kids, of course. Yeah. Do you feel like they're on the cusp of becoming like proper people? That's a good question. I actually think um, I actually think they're quite clued up, far more than some of us adults. It's um, them damn it's really kids. Interesting to see them sort of devour things. You know, I, I know that sounds super corny, but it's quite special to me. I wish I had a teacher like you. Thank you. That's sweet. I think most people and do. That yeah. Is time, ladies and gents. Okay. Well, um, it's over a bit too soon. We've had a good day, everyone. Listen, good date. I'd, um, I'd love to be able to contact you. Oh, yeah, and um, what's your socials? Uh, I'm not actually on socials. I don't even have a smartphone. Oh, oh really? This news for the end of the day. Nice work. <laughs> Old school. Actual <laughs> phone number. Okay. Thanks. Right. I'll call you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Even came with their own biro. All right, I think we got what two more, one more. Bash, lads, lads, lads. This is gonna go poorly. Hello. Hey. What up, Bash? I'm Misha. I'm Bash here for the interview. <laughs> you been on holiday? You got that healthy beach glow. Really? Mm, what's a holiday? Oh, that's sad. I just got back from a stag do. Mm, nice. What did you get up to today? Uh, just played some five-a-side football with the boys. Yeah, pretty knackered. Oh, I love sport. Basketball, tennis. Football? Not yeah. Really. Oh. I'm just messing. I was actually on my junior female football league at school. No, you weren't. Mm -hmm. I like sports that I can play because it gives me more of an insight. Yeah, I mean, it's like so much... Yeah, I, think, I think we all like sports we can play. They're doing. And then you watch the professionals and it's like you're watching art. That's beautiful. 
I've they call it the beautiful game. Sorry about that. So, your name? What about it? Well, it's got to be a nickname, right? Well, yeah, everyone needs a nickname. So, what's the story? It's a long story. Why'd they call you Bash? No, it's a long story, leave it. Oh, don't leave me guessing. Just give me some options. You're an option. So are you. Yeah, fair. <laughs> I'll press, I'll press. I'm he seems into it. Judge. I'm just really curious. Okay, so it all started with an awkward boner. All right. Okay, let's I was 11 and I was on a school adventure trip and I got an awkward boner while I was waiting for my turn to go abseiling. And obviously everyone thought I was, you know... Having a bash. Yeah. And you go by that nickname voluntarily. Well, everyone calls me it, so yeah. I don't have a choice, do I? <laughs> this is your halfway warning, Wow, we, that was our first Three question. Go. I know, it flies, doesn't it? So have you got any nicknames? No, but my name is already sort of a nickname, apparently. It means Michael in Russian. Michael. Mm. I knew someone called Michael once. He nicked my girlfriend in year six. I'm sure she could choose Well, there you person. go. Can I call you Mike? Yeah. Have you got any real nicknames then? God, no one's ever asked me about nicknames before. <laughs> well, I am honoured to be the first. Yeah, I'll take a nickname. Why not? So come on, I'm all night. My mate Ryan calls me Muggy Misha. I apparently mug him off a lot. In Muggy. The, corner, the biggest rocket here tonight. Muggy Misha! You practiced that in front of the mirror, didn't you? hundred percent. So... Did you do any exercise during lockdown? Oh, seamless. I'm just trying to keep the chat moving forward. Oh, hey, man. It's dragging up a bit, isn't it? Yeah, it was a weird time, wasn't it? We'll go in with that topic. I did these daily, like, online workout videos with that dude who's now, like, a UK phenomenon and probably a millionaire. Oh, oh yeah, I think I know the one. Yeah. yeah, he's decent. Like, good oh, for I was you. thinking of Mr. Motivator. You patronise me. Well, I mean it, good for you. I did a bit, but I found it, like, well hard to get motivated. So that stag do I mentioned, yeah? It was in Turin, in Estonia. Tallinn, Est Estonia? Estonia? Yes. Yes, knowledge. Stag capital of Europe, right? So we had to see what all the hype was about. A lot happened so in Estonia, Europe, apparently. Madness, okay? We were all in these morph suits, right? Okay, the green suits. We this man Keely by 5pm. He was absolutely uh -huh. battered. But after a little tactical vomit, we were ready to go to the club. A tactical vomit, eh? Tonight, any of us had ever had. Drinks were flowing. There were back-to-back -back bangers on the playlist. All the lads, they were all together. That's great. Then... There's a little bump in the road. This bird takes a liking to the groom. Wants to go back to his room. No freaking way he didn't. Don't worry. Big bad bash was there to intercept the potential disaster. No, it's not something encouraging for a happily married life, is it? Yeah. We all had a big old heart to heart with him the morning after about it. That's all we can do is his mates, you know? In my mind, cheating is absolutely okay. unacceptable. Bash has got a heart, you know? Oh, he's just commendable on your part. <laughs> I have to have some principles, don't I? We've got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. So we'll be wrapping up. You can just get soon. through the lads, 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 lads part. Drawing to a close. You see, come here already. Definitely. You see anyone you like, though? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. What about you? You didn't answer me properly. What more do you want from me? I don't know. Some more detail. Names, maybe. Nope. No names necessary. There's at least one person. I may have seen a few hotties. Yeah. All right. Show me. Oh, don't be like that. Like what? She's trying to make me jealous. Trying. Oh, whatever, man. And your time is That was a bit of an awkward day. end. Gents, you'll be moving along to your next table. That wasn't so bad, was it? It wasn't. What's your socials? Yes, yes, we stay in touch. It's um, at Big Bash 123. Oh, you need a better handle. You love it. Ugh. See you in my DMs, bye. Bye. All right. No, we're matching. Not really. So, uh, I appreciate his confidence. Bash clearly does have a heart. Doesn't quite have a filter, though. End of the night. Are you a mime? Or just very much a fan of Parisian no fashion? What are the chances? <laughs> From the podcast, the Miserable Millennial Book Club. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> so, are you here for this speed dating thing? Oh, I'm just waiting for my mate to finish. Yeah. You? No. <laughs> I prefer to do things solo. Really? Solo. Oh, seems like a new one. Well, considering all the coffee shops are short, I don't really have a choice. That's fair. I get it. I also enjoy a reading a book alone in a. a a thing, anything. Not usually a bar, but a coffee shop, certainly. I'm the same, actually. 
I like taking myself out for a meal or a spa day or a weekend away. Or a spa weekend away. Mate, stop. <laughs> I'm Hazel, by the way. What up, Hazel? Yeah. My absolute favourite thing to do solo, which I totally recommend, is go to the cinema. Mm. Yeah, that's so fine. I get that. your phone off for a few hours and just solve the story. Seems like a great mode of self-care. I just love my films, mate. <laughs> like, if you were to go, what would you watch? Alone. Alone? On a date? Whatever. Uh... Um, All right, well, what genre... If the audience is right, I'd prefer a ho horror. Horrors are my favourite. Comedy's second favourite. I really love horrors and thrillers. Not like psychological and supernatural stuff. Yeah, like stuff that gets under your skin. But you're not a serial killer, are you? I mean, you're the one who spoke to me. That's true. <laughs> oh! It's not funny! Oh, so. <laughs> I am so sorry. I meant that with affection. Wow. I might be mad, then. That's an so, impression. How was the speed dating? It was fun. Unpredictable, but uh, yeah, fun. Did you meet anyone sexy? Is that word still in circulation? Mm, probably not, but I think I might bring it back. Why not? I yeah, yeah I guess. I guess yeah. I a few sexies that work. It's great. Yeah, it's nice to feel that way, isn't it? Mm, that fresh chemistry feeling. Yeah, it's been a while since I felt that too. Yeah, you should try it sometime. No, it really isn't my style. Speed dating. Not this kind of speed dating. Right. This is your three minute warning, guys. Three minutes to go. Oh, three so minutes. Yeah, it's the last date of the night, so I'll be off to meet Ryan soon. In that case, let's get you a drink for the road. <laughs> drink for the road? Until the event ends. So yeah, why not? You, we're getting on the tube, so we're not place. driving. How's it now? Oh, hell's bells, let's do it. Yeah? yeah. Hell's <laughs> bells? A couple of GTs, they'll be quick, won't they? Oh, I think we can do better with what little time we've got. Shots? Shots. Shots. Let's do it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what is it? Salt, lemon first. Oh, I don't know. I can't remember the order. <laughs> I think it's drink, oh, no, and no. then it's salt, and then oh, it's lemon, no, right? No, 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 either. <laughs> Why don't they just put them all in the same drink? <sighs> so, Hazel. I know what you do for fun, but what do you do for work? Oh, no. See, this is why I didn't lead with this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I do HR. Mm -hmm. The old human Super resources. Basic, boring, nine to five. Explains why you're such a people person, though. Mm -hmm. We've got one minute to go, guys. Just one, one minute. minute. Already? You know what I miffed about? How come Ryan got an extra date to me? Well, we can call this a speed date if you want. Yeah, why not? I didn't know that was an option. I go in that option. <laughs> I thought you didn't do speed dating, though, so clearly I'm very charming. Why not? I mean, we are abiding by time restrictions and everything. Annoyingly. I wish we had longer. Ah. Do you want to keep in touch and maybe we can hang out sometime? As much as I love doing things solo, I would really love a partner in crime now and again. Someone will take your pics of social media and all that. Yeah, it's more of a PA role, really. <laughs> See? Good dialogue, good back and forth. You know, That's not stuck on a single topic. Everyone. Bring somebody out of their shell. Keep Ryan waiting. <laughs> At Hazel X1. Hazel X1. Got it. Mm -hmm. Bye, Hazel. Yeah. See you soon, hopefully. Yeah. There you go. Good memory. Enjoy that book. Good time. <laughs> Left an impression. Come on, spill the beans. How do they go? <sighs> Okay. Oh my gosh, there was Hazel. Okay. Who I met at the bar by accident. We were reading exactly the same book. We had the same interests. She was really fun. Yeah. She was meant to be there. So she hadn't signed up for it? No, she was just in the bar. Okay. So she sounds like it went well. It went really surprisingly well. Okay, nice. Yeah. I'm like an Hazel. Just wait till we get to tie. To to date too. You think so? I think so. Okay. So that was Lucas. He was a coder. He was super intelligent. I didn't understand half of what he said, but he was really lovely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So maybe mm. we might see him again. Yeah, Probably not. I don't think our vibes exactly matched. Okay. Fair enough. Very nice, but Jake not not into the was same things. Really lovely. He was a teacher. Jake. Jake was a good one. He had some nice shirts. <laughs> so he's a nice guy. He's a really nice guy. He's so sweet. Did you see there being a second date? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. 
That sounds lovely. So there you go. Ty, I hate. His motorcycle levers, holding his helmet. He is what you would call a a bad boy. And how do you feel about a bad boy? I don't know. I've never dated a bad boy before, but it sounds quite exciting. No, it doesn't. You go to the dark side, don't you? They no. Have... Well, then go. Bash. Well, mm. Firstly, he's called Bash, uh, which tells you everything you need to know. Do you know what? He was really charming. Yeah, I came around to bash. Great banter. That sounds wrong. I take it back. Really good way. He had a slightly funny haircut, but we'll let him have that. So, do you think there could be another date? Yeah, I can see. Yeah, that. maybe with bash. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, good. So, Misha, what's gonna happen next? I have a few options. Well, that is indeed the question. You need to make the first move. Send them a message. <sighs> okay. Pinky swear. Pinky swear. Okay. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. And and then that's Ryan's playthrough. We don't talk about that. Okay. Still don't know why they ha why they don't have like backing track stuff. You know. Okay, we are going to make this decision in the next one. So please do join us for that, and I shall see you all later. I've interrupted myself in the, my own outro. Bye for now.